Hey, this is Eddie Dacius, the host of Divine Puppet Podcast. We have a great show for you today. We're excited. We're very happy to have Abigail de Ravine with us today. She will be introducing herself and she'll be talking about her upbringing and her career. Before, before we go f- um, further on that, please subscribe to the channel. This is Divine Puppet Podcast. You can find us on Facebook and YouTube. Um, let's go. Welcome to the Divine Purpose Podcast, where we transport you along one of the more dynamic journeys of life. Have you ever been curious to know what it takes to become a successful leader or about knowing the secrets of life through the Bible? How about engaging in conversation where no topics are off limits? We will take you to new levels with guests who can help you grasp the importance of your calling. Now, here's your host, Eddie Dashius. Founder of Dacius Facilities Management. Yes, we want to remind everybody this podcast, this episode is brought to you by Dacius Facility Management. You can find them on online www.daciusfm.com. They will manage your property. They will be doing everything in terms of facility management. Call them now, 617-237-0106. We have a wonderful guest with us today, Abigail De Ravin. Abigail, how are you today? Hello, Adi. Um, thank you for having me. I'm doing well, thank God. And how are you today? I'm great. I'm excited, excited. Thank you for being here with us. And I'm sure we're going to have an excellent conversation and our listeners, uh, supporters going to have a bless. So like we like to start, what can you tell us about you? Ooh, okay. What can I tell you about me? So um, I, you know, I want to say hello and um, to the listeners and also thank you for um, listening to Eddie's podcast. I really believe that. He's doing an excellent job in the community and will go very far with this podcast. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> so, Eddie, what can I tell you about me? I'm Abigail de Ravine, and uh, um, I'm an entrepreneur. And I started, I grew up in Haiti. Yeah. <laughs> yes. So, the, um, and I spent a lot of time in, um, in South Florida. Okay. That's where I debuted. Um, and that's where I started my businesses. So then I moved to Orlando. Right now I reside in Orlando, even if um, it's, it's, I'm not saying it's going to be permanent because yeah. I live in my body. Oh. <laughs> I don't live anywhere else besides inside of my body. So yeah, so I've been there. I grew up in Haiti, um, spent a few, um, a few years in South Florida. Now I'm cent- in Central and um, doing work in the community. Um, I've been, how can I say? I, I, I mean, I'm called an, uh, a personal development coach and uh, business coach. And mm. I, <laughs> yes. So I provide um, different type of services and also sit on the board of the Haitian, the Greater Haitian American Chamber of Commerce here in Orlando. I okay. serve as their public relations chairs. And okay. um, um, also, you know, I'm a little in the churches and some churches I help. Them. Wow. You know, when, you, you know, you're wearing when, a lot of hats. And we like to hear that. So that's something I feel like it's common um, among leaders, mm-hmm. entrepreneurs. And that they they are tapping on different aspects of development. So, quick question for you. I know you talk about where you from. Mm-hmm. Um, do you have a, a good memory of your childhood? You can share wow. with us. A like come see you on bagay, loti loti la tap and then you you had a chance to to kind of end. Um, cherish yeah. and keep it as your uh, motivation. I actually do. Um, so I I have a bunch of memories. I know that. But let me give you one that we really loved, me and my sisters, because I, I don't I I will be mentioning that I have two other sisters and 
that's we grew up as ministry's kids and okay. um there are certain things that were not allowed at the okay. time for us to do and um how can i say um we used to have cousins and most of them were we were in haiti but most of them were in the u.s okay so these cousins when whenever they would come some of them are older than us yeah. they would fight my dad to have us so we would spend the greatest times with them <laughs> and on my they're on my mom's side so they okay. would ent um intercede they would plead because my dad did not really allow us to go out okay without him and he would always be there you know with the church the school and um house so yes we went out with him we would do anything we went sent us to the beach and had good times when he was with him and my mother so going out with my aunts you know when we you know, go out you know, out of states or whenever my cousins would come in it was like one of i mean it was the best experience and we i remember one of my uncles uncle jonas he would take us from my dad during christmas yeah so we would have the greatest time with my other cousins <laughs> so these are the times we remember because i mean i remember as well i mean I'm, i said there are many but what i can remember on the top of my mind right now is the fact that we had great times with these folks with these cousins now they're all going up um but i'm telling you the way they they fought for us and and told my dad anything <laughs> anything they could to have us out that yeah. was you know, something for us like, i really like this uh, well said well said one thing i i quickly say, i quickly see you mention is like the Liko Ligli's Lakai mentality yeah. for you because you just mentioned it was always Liko and then Ligli's Lakai, right? Yes, sir. <laughs> so do you know why he shouldn't think, think like that and why is it a big deal for I us? I think that some of the parents, you know, on, in French you say on, on don ce qu'on a, right? Yeah. So that's, you know, I think that they thrive for us to have the best life and sometimes the way they do it sometimes they overdo it but they they just want to give the best life they just want to protect and sometimes they over protect and they just want you to come out so good you know to not be able to make mistakes which is i mean impossible impossible, impossible yes so me, by me being a rebel only i can tell you it was um it was just i mean i was a rebel i'm not gonna lie to you I debated everything, asked so many questions, and did not agree with a lot of things. Yeah. And um, so, my, but my my dad, he wanted my parents, both of them. My mom was a little bit more lenient in some okay. stuff, but my dad, he was overprotective. So he's a pastor. He is a pastor. He would always say, "Not come back." You know, come see. You know, he's you know he's in a spiritual warfare. Yeah. Day and night, twenty four seven. You are not gonna be like a, a cible or like her. Okay, you I got you. No, yeah. it makes sense. It makes sense. So let's go to that question. What is the most important lesson you have learned over your career so far? Yeah. Over my career. Okay, this thing I wanted to tell you. Um, I I mean I should have told you about me earlier was that um, I'm part of an amazing organization called the Name My Project International Ministries. Okay. Where we build and equip kingdom businesses globally. So um, we empower individuals, entrepreneurs, and family to thrive at all times. So this is by being, by giving access to resources, um, um, to, to, to a lot of... Um, for example, access to capital, coaching, yeah. trainings, all of these, okay? So yeah. this is part also of my career. So what if what is the um what is the lessons that what we said what is the uh, most important lessons that I've learned? Yeah. Most of them are from um are from I mean not most of them. Some of them are from that organization. So I don't know if I should give something from them. Let me give you something um like what have I learned? Most important lesson. So coming from me, I feel like um, I had to learn to believe in my God giving give um, God given ability to figure things out. Okay. So certain things 
might look i mean for some people right now i mean we're a lot of us are christians and we know some some may be listening and they're unbelievers but yes. sometimes god puts certain things certain opportunities on your way and it's for you to 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 i mean to walk in but you know most of us would say well you know i have a degree but that's not in this i don't think sometimes you know you are supposed to do something but i just trust and believe in the ability to figure things out to the okay. god given ability and with the divine guidance yep. i just trust this and in, in no, no matter where in my field out no matter what meant to say in my field or out of my field yeah in mind you really can um do greater than you even think you could okay yeah nothing is taboo so yeah. you can share anything you want to with us like for me one thing i realized here was in haiti like people stay late to study you know mm -hmm. so some they don't have electricity they go to a gas station mm -hmm. they go somewhere to study because they have a test the next day but here there's not the by heart study by heart no. you know it's just understanding is different and like yeah. i was joking to um one of my friends say i i know um a professor like a, a biologist or somebody who, who does like chemistry and i never been to a lab <laughs> mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. but they, they know all the formulas they know everything by heart but they never show us anything mm. i know right yeah i hear you so okay let me tell you i mean i can um relate uh to that i had a few friends I mean, I've seen a few things. I don't know if you remember Sean Moss. <laughs> yeah, yeah, so yeah. So, so uh, I've not been there to study, but I had a few friends, a few people that I knew. Um, they've been, um, you know, they've been there. But this is where, I mean, from from a very young age, my grandma wanted us to go to Les Sœurs, to the sisters' school. Okay. So we were not... Um, we did not, my dad did not want that. So we were, okay. you know, as, as I said earlier, I mean, he wanted it, but thank God it didn't happen. We okay. ended up going to Saint Trinité, College Bird, and then College Saint Pierre. No, okay. College, Saint Trinité, College Saint Pierre, College Bird. But in the beginning, um, my dad always wanted us for us to be musicians. So okay. two of us, including me, okay. we play an instrument. So I play the violin. Okay. So, um, my, uh, so Christian family, um, you know, they want, you know, uh, their kids. Yep. To help at the church, they're ministers. Put you, to, put you through music school. Yeah. <laughs> Helping at the at the church. I know, you like I know, you're right. <laughs> so, uh, but he didn't really force that on us. We ended up loving it. So our school, Saint Trinité, had yeah. a school of music in it. So by being yeah. part of Saint Trinité, no, but no, we didn't, wouldn't have, but we couldn't. If we were to go to the uh, Les Sœurs, yeah, we would only have like forty-five minutes, I think, for a week. Okay. Day. But Saint it would include the music school in it. So what mm -hmm. happened was um during the day, there was a time every day we would go to yeah. the music school and then we had our teachers or or I mean and, um uh the, the they some of them are 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 very famous. Um let's say Nicole, um she was she was an opera singer, amazing with I'm with Madame Rose, Pierre David. So this is how we went. We went to the school and um, we began there. Then after that, I mean, I went to, um, then it was a mixed school. <laughs> then I got a lot of friends from there. After that, I got uh, to, um, you know, high school, no? I mean, we can say high school. Um, college Bird, College St. Pierre, then College Bird. But it's like, the um, they call primaire, secondaire. They call primaire, secondaire. So my primaire yeah. was in, Saint Trinité. Okay. And then secondaire, moi, comment c'est Saint Pierre? It's like middle two. school and high school. Yes. Right. Yeah. Okay. And then I went to College Bird. But my parents, I everywhere I go, I mean, in Pat, so I would have so many friends. I would collect so many friends with me. So <laughs> like the first thing, I, I'm as you can see, I love talking. I love hanging yeah. out with people, pouring into people, saying, you know, you know, pushing them, motivating them. You know, helping them to be the best they can, just putting okay. 
I mean, speaking word of, I mean, a life into that. Okay. So I had a lot of friends from the beginning. They would tell my dad, she's so smart, amazing, but she talks. <laughs> <laughs> since since we need yeah. So yeah. since we need then college, Cynthia, then college bird. And um, um, that's how it. But I, I'm glad um, you, you mentioned that because one of our uh, so good friend of mine he is challenging me to kind of speak more queer in the in the podcast because he want us to reach to our patient oh, okay, okay, okay. too but my question would be because you 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 mentioned a school i'm very familiar with it's um saint pierre so yes. i have a lot of friends there yes. and so esco kadim or was it Kijonte? Yeah. I'll say the movement from leaving Saint Trinité to go to Saint Pierre. Okay, Julie and Creole, right? It's up to you. You can speak. Oh no, I'm having a problem. I, I'm going with what you want. So yeah, okay, fine. so um, I, I mean, we'll mix it. That, that's fine with me. So Creole, uh, going to the Creole. <laughs> going to Saint Trinité from the Saint Trinité to Saint Pierre. Connect with Saint Trinité. Call a um. C'est comme si c'est une euh, extension de Saint-Pierre. Parce que c'est de l'école. Saint-Pierre sont l'école épiscopale. Saint-Pierre yes. sont l'école épiscopale. Yeah. Donc, son extension. Yeah. So, um, lors de cette trinité, ils espèrent que tu vas à Saint-Pierre. Donc, so, okay. lors de cette trinité, comme si c'est comme ça. Parce que c'est l'école okay. musique et puis tous les deux, yo yo marchent et yo n'ont l'autre. Et puis, ils payent aux amis. Donc, so, un pile de monde qui est à Saint-Pierre. Saint-Pierre, oui. Yeah. So, et puis, ou ka, ou ka, ou ka, même accès avec l'école de musique, etc. Donc, um, Je ne sais pas si c'est un grand fini. Je ne sais pas si c'est un simple parce que c'est un intérêt de l'enfant Jésus qui devrait aller. Et c'est tout près là. Je ne sais pas si c'est un grand fini. Mais ok, mal simple. Comme si, bon, vous connaissez un autre primaire, vous avez transitionné. Comme si vous avez un petit monde, vous avez 13 ans, 13 ans, 12 ans. 14 ans, je me suis dit que l'école avec deux ans et je me suis dit que 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 je me suis Changement encore. Yes. Et puis, après, you know. Mais si mon était les même les petits sourites, parce que je petite woman, like, I'm small, like, you know. Yeah. C'est toujours mon moral, la paix. Puis, si tu es un pile, 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 tu Yes. Et j'ai un bon petit monde dans la classe moi qui était vraiment exemplaire um, et bon, ça c'est dans cette trinité. Yeah. Et puis nous venons donc le m'a traversé me venir retirer nous pas venir pas gain amis ça encore mais nous venons ouais gain là nous venons ouais après okay. but, nous changer de nous changer de um, comme des cas dit ça it's like a shift so yeah. 10 ans 11 ans the news 12 13 14 yeah. you're meeting you know guys asking yep. about <laughs> <laughs> oui. So when we changed it, it was very good for me. And they didn't tell you. They didn't tell you. Simply, you were really strict. You were very strict. But you were very strict. 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 Um, you know, he would just do it with his. Um, li prenne pot bouté, li li li. Comme si li li prend skill li gena football yo pour recycle. Yeah. So we gonna. But Simon said they gonna win my life. Impossible. But I loved it. <laughs> I loved it, and we became. We were always good friends, and meeting new people, and then facing, you know, different types of personalities, and then stronger like, um, stronger wheels and the friends and things. Impossible. Some women appeal. I feel this was um. I really love Simpia. Même pas très tant pis là, Dan, parce que papa m'a trouvé que me fait trop zami. I understand that. So now, let's go quickly on going up in uh in your hostel. Hostel, like where Ooh. it's... To, you say your dad is a pastor and I'm going to... Petit pastor... 
Pago kin by piti paste fe. Like it's okay, let me say it this way. I can attest to both sides where petit pasteur bon, mm -hmm. petit pasteur des Okay, okay. So I'm not judging, but I'm just trying to understand. Okay. Or was it for you? Okay, so j'aime tout le monde, tout le monde est on va faire un pinta. And um, we ended up uh, going to college. Parce que college simple, tout pris la caille, ouais. Et puis, papa m'a convaincu chercher, mais des fois, m'a convaincu. Donc, je m'a passé. Si mon yon a passé des scènes là, quand il y a tout, papa m'a trouvé que c'est pas ça. C'est pas ça. C'est pas, c'est pas, he doesn't want that for me. So, he okay. doesn't, he wouldn't want that. Like, I understand him. Um, so, uh, right now, though. But, um, so, le m'a transitionné à l'étempier, à l'bird. M'a dégagé l'autre école, mais c'est l'bird, il y a été une transition, il y a une transition, il y a une transition, il y a une alors, oh oui, moi, plus grand, mais si je me suis un an de différence, je me suis un an de différence, je deux ans de différence. So, nous, it's like the same. Nous, nous sommes même vraiment génération. So, tu as un pile petit pasteur collège bird. Okay? Yes. So, tu as un lot d'amis, mais tu as un pile petit pasteur. So, we found out, like, somehow, that some of us, our parents were colleagues. Okay? So, but, yo même vin fem comprendre plus bien quelque bagay, et I was able to, um, To, to probably balance, I could say, not so much, but, um, but, um, um, how can I say that? Um, is it navigate? What did you say? Is it navigate? You were able to kind of... It helped me balance and navigate, yes. And yes, okay. Who know by guy, Eddie? So, le nou vini na, um, le nou rive la, so, la kainos. For example, say no, this was a model, exact. You know, yes. you are, first of all, spoken in avec un pila haïtien, um, ou pa gen doa fe ewe lo ti ti moun. So, on ti moun diza, what a child of 10 years old would be doing, yeah. nou men pa gen doa fe. Kom si ti moun nan ka fe dezo, li ka fe salvele, but nou men me pa kom si nou gen doa fe, um, nou gen doa fe dezo, vrema, ok? Donc, yo te kon pali papa m pou nou. Tout moun yo te toujou re men nou. But they would expect for us to be perfect. Yes. And um, not live um, as a child would live. Me, my dad would, afterwards, he would understand that we need balance. So okay. he would say, you know, he would say things to us that would made us understand that he was, comme si li, li te kompren nou. Ok, non sens. Mem, malgel te strik an pil. Ok. Donc, um, li mem se pou bien net nou. Li te yeah. fe sa. Li mem avec ma mam. Mais le nou nan le le nou nan le nou l'école. Ou saute l'école ou à l'église. Nous sommes pour un bâton parce que ma ma et ma vinn montrer nous nous li bon mon chance pour venir pour comme moi parce que nous te gon bagarre li pas chercher. Ça est école saint pierre ça. Et puis vini en le qui ont ti gens après. Ouh. I know. That was a bag out of the pas bon mon bâton même moment non après. But college but li même nous te gen plus um plus um, comment on dit ça plus parce que c'était l'autre Simon même genre avec nous que par exemple ses collègues parents yo so yo était un petit genre il était un petit genre moi lenient okay so it would be church okay at the church you have to be an example at the school you have to be an example everywhere you go you have to be an example be example nous même nous pas des autres trois même tu es j'aime de l'âme tu es rebelle on okay. debate and then question and anything but um nous on va se nous sortir bien je pas pas me lever nous malgré qu'on est Haitian parents there's some stuff that We, we, we have to go through as we... Yes. You've been comprehend avec tantou, but nous même tout, we have to go through some of these... Um, you know, challenging, right? For nous, you, you, again, as an adult, you've been for yes. as an adult, you've been for for bien, j'en ai supposé faire, but you, you go through them, because it's bien que vous faire pour les vous okay. vous So, what is the most thing you are proud of you accomplished um okay so one of the things that um i didn't maybe back home mention is that we moved here um no go up in 80 after we moved la pour nous venir l'école uh right after the earthquake so we stayed we told my dad when i think oh, 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 oh. you're a earthquake survivor yes i am we were i am too oh my god I was in Haiti in 2010. What? I was? Yeah. What? I didn't know that about you, though. Yep, I did. I was. God saved me. 
So go ahead, go ahead. That saved me too. I'm supposed to university at the time. So I'm supposed to go to university and I'm just changing my mind to go to the house. So I'm going to go to the house too. But I'm going to go to the house. I'm going to go to the house. I'm always responsible for us. We had to figure things out. I'm going to go to the college, but I'm going to go to the house. And I was like, Or ID. I was like, because my dad took yeah. care of all of these things for us. And I remember I was with Simon Sayo because they would um, they would um, they would teach me like it comes in many major de bouillard too. And I love to see that they were hustling because their parents probably gave them that responsibility. Okay. Or even your father could say your kid was fell. But le nouvin la things shit. Baga yo change. Mm. So, no thing a fami have examin ki de no, of course. Yeah. And um and then, but after that, you became you on your own. Even if they're there to advise you, but you on your own, okay. And I had to figure a lot of things out. And to be not right now, my friends are calling me resourceful. We had to figure things out from our college. We have to figure a lot of things out. And one of the biggest accomplishment is the fact that um I remember I was at my lowest. Okay, and I went through a lot during um, certain time, and I was at my lowest doing, um, for example, um, the I cannot say it was before the pandemic, yeah, but uh, right, ah, right before, but during um, 2018, yeah, six, seventeen, eighteen, pass in the past, the moment well, if we, um, I've always wanted to better myself to do. Um, more than um, I felt like there was more, and I, it was time for me to do personal development. Okay. And then I actually became a certified coach that in that time. When okay. I say bottom, um, when I say bottom, was bottom bottom mark. Then when you the end of my rope. Yeah. So I became. There's one man that I really like, which is his name is um, Jack Infield. Okay. And he's, he's my mentor. Okay. And I. Actually, would follow him since maybe this under slot. I've only become certified. I've he's been on my radar for years. Okay. And then, um, and then, um, I started going through his stuff, and I was looking for: is there any certification? Is there anything that I could get from him and stuff? And then I saw that, you know, I could become certified through him to actually be a student. Then after that be a trainer myself so i became certified in the success principles so okay. and i could train um and help others doing that as well okay so no no matter what the finances were not okay things were upside down at this time for me and i turned to god what can i do what should i do and i felt like someone So I have done it. I turned around and then I just started going through his program. And so far, like it's, it, you know, it's self-empowerment. Um, it's a lot of self-empowerment, a lot of personal development, a lot of, you know, these helped me. And during the pandemic, I went through it. And that's how I was able to, but it took Monday, you were So I kept. To profit, I go through the program and it be, becomes I became certified like um just by then by this time and I'm really proud of this. I'm um, really. Uh, thank you for sharing this. No, definitely because one thing I I like to say is there is when when you have to accept your purpose, you know everything around you and then you have to kind of stop and then make sure you're following your purpose. And so next question will be, so what are your top five influencers in your life? Um, you mean online influencers? What are your top five influencers in your life? Like Moon, Ki, like you just mentioned, your mentor. And oh, people. okay. But you mean, um, if I online influencers, Selma, it can be people I see. Yeah. Yeah. It can be people you react. Like for me, It's God first, and my mom, mm -hmm. and my mom, my my wife, mm -hmm. and then I have um, a pastor mm -hmm. who really so was Pastor Michelle, mm -hmm. 
and I have his son, mm-hmm. which is my pastor now. Mm-hmm. And then I have a professor from from um, from Wentworth. He he helped me study my own business, mm-hmm. and he gave me a client too. Oh, I like that. <laughs> yeah, so those are my top influences. So yeah, so what what are your your top influences? Okay, so um, as you said, as you said, um, I have have I have a bunch of them, but my boy. Uh, my board, the ones that my, my, my okay. the first one is God, as you said. I mean, yeah. mon Dieu, pas de l'autre quoi. Quelque soit mm-hmm. Jean Saie, mon Dieu, he's the, he's the spirit of God. Yeah. Um, c'est, 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 it's, he's, 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 he's our guidance in times of trouble. He's our mm-hmm. guidance in um in time of in times of um um you know danger and everything so yeah. um, i'm so sorry i have some background noise and i didn't expect that don't worry so it's giving me some problems right now and i didn't no, 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 don't worry <laughs> let's so, let's <laughs> yeah um so yeah so um i so god and then i have someone like my parents okay my parents my family period my my mom, my dad, and my two sisters. They're good okay. in my life, and we have the Prudence family. I don't know if you know Pastor Puda, Pastor Naomi Puda. Those are the people that I really look up to. And then was they've been there for me, you not know, two, still constants, you know. Yeah. In back on pill stage, I'm having your lap. If you get a lot moon to, but it's a but it's an army. Okay, yes. but top five would be God. My family, my um, the Prudence family, and I have somebody called Jack Kenfield. I just mentioned to you, like he's okay. amazing. Okay. I don't know how how else could I say it. And then there's Brendan Burchard, and there's my okay. fancy. Okay. And I have another person called Vanel Mark. This one okay. has been in my life as well. Those are I can say the top five people that that are influ- that have influenced my life, affected me directly and directly. And you know, and that has helped me being where I am right now. No, well said, well said. So let let's take a turn 360 on 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 our conversation. So, what was your dream job when you were in high school? Okay, so um, in high school, like my growing up, I studied um, international relations and business administration. So um, in high school, I wanted after high school, I wanted to be a scholar. I wanted to study um, so many things and meaning pour me donner connaissance générale. Ça veut dire là parler de moi, ouais ouais son book nerd moi mais livre moi mais like I would talk to people and they would love it. I can I see that in your background. <laughs> yes, I would, I mean I, I'm, I think I'm addicted to. I have all type of books like ugh. No, Kindle, 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 So I have some books, I have them in all forms. Sorry. Okay. But I feel like, I felt like growing up, there are certain things that I had to learn um, from books. And then I have one person who has influenced me really, really, really um, to love books. Okay. And her name is Esther Estelle Thomas. So she was um, telling me, you know what, why don't you read? Um, my parents would, but she was most likely close to our not too close to our age but she was so young okay and then you know parents are born leave papa toujours ba nous leave pour nous mal résumer etc but no fell but Jean Esther gave me the love for books it was yeah. the love book so i wanted to be a scholar i mm. wanted to be that person who worked um meaning a scholar meaning um researcher and yeah. then not only for that but to be in you know to be in the decision makers for a country to be advisors wow wanted to be an advisor come see my mother was model mercedes condolesa wise michael jean oprah so those ladies i felt like you know i could get from them and um and i wanted to be an advisor for my country or any other, like you could say governor or advisor but um because that's the only thing i think that that that's why you went to Kiskea. Well, yeah, <laughs> at the time that was the only school that has it. I think my sister studied that too. Really? So 
I, I started there and I finished it in here. Okay. Um, uh, and then, then I mean, I, I mean, in fact, if I love us, we love in Lompac and Bible, we'll come and say, but please, I love you too. So I'm going business administration because I could be anywhere and mix it with it. But right now, I believe, um, you know, as I've told you earlier, I'm a personal uh, development and business coach, and I'm a speaker, a blogger, um, a thought leader, a okay. trainer. But I'm not say that I would be led to that. Okay. Like to an entrepreneur. I love entrepreneurship. I mean, I love entrepreneurship. I love the idea. But for me, for some reason, I felt it was not strong enough at that time. So I'm not going to go on dream job, but I really wanted to have to be that. And then, you know, when we talk about politics, we talk about the letter, the letter, the letter, etc. I'm going to say, for example, we're going to learn too. To, you know, build a nation and build a community and, you know, have a system of good people in there. So, mm. uh, you know, you took one person for an avocat, because it's that really, I'm just an avocat, because I'm just going to talk about different points. So, it's not avocat, it's not avocation. You're talking about communication, diplomacy. Ah! <laughs> but I'm just a, you know, Jam Zula, an entrepreneur, an author, thought leader, coach, trainer, speaker, blogger. It's a certain in fair, and then just empowering people. And um, I think it led to that, whatever I had in mind. <laughs> okay, now, so that's great to to hear because my next yeah, question, question is properly. Huh? Did I answer that question properly? Yes, you did. Because my next question is, because the reason I asked the question is to see your development. Because okay. nobody has like it straight, like a straight line, everything. Oh, that, right? No, no. That's so right. you had a dream in high school that what that's what you wanted to be. So now you finish, you finish college. You are in the reality. What's your dream job now? Well, I don't, I, I don't have it. I never really had a dream job as per se, like I wanted to be that. But um, right now, um, and you know, I really felt I said, if you permit, come see, I, I went down the bottom of comme si comme on dit sans créole c'est comme tout descendre dans tout sans fond yeah. moi même ça c'était dans la boue que c'est parce que pas qu'à concevoir um ça t'a privé yo et pas qu'à comprendre que m't'a jamais même même à dire les gars parce que m't'a débat ça ouais fort fort ouais et pas là so bon Dieu tu c'est formé nous tout le nouveau vin light ça fait j'aime tout ça grand pile ba et nous passer c'est là nous vin connait parce que la caille nous en Haïti nous t'es bien Okay. Okay. We read that book, The Purpose During Life by Rick Ryan, and we felt like God put us apart to pull a phone bag in us. We didn't come to a pile bag, a pile moon. We didn't come to a pile bag. 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 We didn't come to a Come to we you we want to just do good in school, help yeah. them. You know, by no, 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 pass it. Come si no, just decide. Um, no, I've le parlé de ça. On a chopé tête mon UIT, but it's not come si they've done their best already. So, what yeah. formation nous prend la moi avec ce mieux? Même dit nous, nous prend la avec ce mieux que nous comprenons qui est de nous avancer. So, when you au fil du temps il y a l'autre bail qui vient arriver il y a le challenge qui vient là vient au fil du temps like ça veut dire m'a parlé de 2010 2011 then fast forward later on moi vient tomber dans situation côté que i had a job that i would i really loved it but t'ai gain quelques problèmes et yo t'ai obligé qu'un bail job moins pour moi yo dit que m'ta fait transition OK il y a des monde qui connait bagarre ça on fait transition côté que m'a changé statut des bail qui prend temps pour venir Look, yeah. we ended up hire myself. I hired myself as a freelancer and interpreter, and then I hired myself to turn, you know, put some people together and do a cleaning business. Okay, so um, what happened was, we ended up on, we ended up get. I partnered with someone who was like twenty something years in the interpretation business, transition and interpretation. So leave Fema, leave him. You have to branch out, Abigail. So okay. I ended up having my interpretation business. And okay. then, then, c'est l'anti-bagaille, ça, yo. 
que vin like ou, ou bon business ou bon deuxième so m'pa ka di mon dream job but my dream is to help people build their businesses okay. is to push and empower people to let them know you can do you can do great because at my lowest point a bunch of things came came in in two less than two years i was able to build that interpretation business build uh, uh on, on, on management i co it with okay. some vacation rentals and um, we, we manage properties for vacation rentals, and then I was able to continue and 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 and, and in the uh, coaching and personal development. So these were um these were this is where exactly I want to stay, and I want to you know build on them and become better. So my job is to really my dream job is to help really help others and then be a vehicle of love, and then help them so they can become the best version of themselves by you know, giving them personal development, those kind of things by encouraging them to have that, to push them, empowering them to make a difference, you know, in their life. No, no, I think you you did you did great because one thing we like to hear is to mm -hmm. get the details because mm -hmm. um, the detail will help our listeners. And so now we have Abigail de Ravine with us. She's our guest today, so we're gonna go into um, the next segment, which is hot topic. Hot topic is a seg segment where we talk about things that mm -hmm. people don't have a chance to ask. So mm -hmm. let's go with hot topic with Abigail. Ooh, hot topics. All right, we're back with Hot Topic with Abigail. So, Abigail, the question for you is, why do you think it's so hard for uh, pastors' children to grow in the community where mm. every everything they do, it's under scrutiny? Mm. Man, Ooh, why do I think it's so hard? Yeah. <laughs> okay, first of all, because a lot of their parents, right now I have no denomination. Okay. I will go up Pentecost, Pentecostal. Yeah. And um, meaning, I've been Pentecostal and stuff. Right now I serve God. Okay. And I have the same uh, declaration of faith. I could go to, but understand that, lot of grandzi, me no mem, when I'm past this kids, um, problem na se ke, the standard is so high. Let me highlight, it should be high. I think I take that back. What's expected of you? Um, sometimes can grow something in our psyche that makes you think you're not good enough, and that also makes you think that um, you're not um, you're not you know you're not good enough. Uh, let's and then make, make you afraid. Okay, so I think develop it in the in the beginning for fair moon for fair moon Okay, you mean they have to be. Because if your parents are telling us to do these things, so you better do it too. You better be that. So I remember one time I had a conversation with my dad. I said, Papa, so what I'm talking about, because there are people who are always searching for what's going on in their life. What are you doing? What is he doing? Or are you still the example that your dad, you know? What it, I'm a grown person now, and I, I live by that. I do all it by God's side. And if anything that you know goes wrong i'll learn i'll figure it out but i do my best to be an example live as christ wants me to live not and see my life in the in um in the eyes of god and not in the eyes of the church not in the eyes of the community in the eyes of god see what god and then what book you think helped me to that it's called i i, I will get there it's called identity and destiny it's called um the purpose driven life i so this is how I um fist up. But what I think, why is it everything is under scrutiny? Because our fathers, our grandfathers, the the culture and to buy sayo, you may take on stand up comes in sayo pamun you may pamun. I understand to a certain extent on pillna leader lead people to fem and jimunu well. But Pendant ce temps, tout bon expectation of the leaders. 
OK. Même bagage la fall under your family. Mais moun yo pa gen compassion en pile pour moun ka garder pour dire moun ça son moun même j'avais nous il gen ti moun. Ti moun yo a go through a lot. Ça gen pile par am connait. Ti moun yo a deal with homosexuality. They are doing. They don't know what to do. They, they if you can't bet that you know na na fe noir, na na peur because they're so afraid of what other people's are going to I was there once. I've made a lot of mistakes and okay. I've made one major mistake in my life just because I didn't want, you know, for my, my dad's reputation to go sideways. I didn't okay. want to do it. Not only this all out there, but I'm not going to do it for you. It's like you're going to do everything right. Yeah, yeah. Like that's what you're going to do. Who's the church? Who's the church? And then you're going to do it for you to think, who's the church you're going to do it for you? Who's the church you're going to do it for you? Who's the church you're going to do it for you? He loves yeah. you. He loves you. No, but I'm not saying that because Haiti, on the first day, you preach to us sanctity, holiness, and all of that that God loves you. But you don't want fear of God. I don't say you don't want fear of God, but you don't want to have a bagaille, how do you say that? A mentality. We don't even think about grace. You know, it says I'm facing my self-righteousness. Like it's, it's yeah. my fear. Like I'm, I'm, glad, I'm glad you said that because... Um, as you talking about it now it says okay oh she's a pastor's daughter she cannot fall in love <laughs> you know i know right <laughs> you know she cannot have a caution that guy you see what i mean so and you 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 have to grow in being a kid a teenager and an adult young adult and adult but they ignore these phases and then don't get to understand that everybody will be part of it so we have abigail um they have in with us today and she's talking about her career her upbringing um we we appreciate she's being here with us so yes yeah, so this is eddie dasis with hot topic with abigail so we we've been talking about her upbringing So one thing I like it's that we understand that she she grew up in Haiti. She went to different schools. She went to music. She's a, um, a pastor's daughter. And growing up, she felt that she was herself. She was rebel. She has questions. But I think it's okay because some people need to ask. You need to ask questions. And challenging those questions by asking and demand answers will really help you and one thing we take from what you said abigail is that you also mentioned that when you came here your dad in haiti used to not even allow you guys to do anything on your own and i understand i can relate to that where if you your your your, your parents pick you up from school You don't have anywhere to go. You don't have anything to do. And everything is just from you. But um, we, we, we would like to ask you that question. The question is now is, what do you think can change that perception of uh, all the pastors, kids around, or listeners? Mm -hmm. Because I know it's difficult for them. And I can imagine where me myself, I, I had some, my mom was a damn missionary, president mm -hmm. damn missionary. I'm not saying the same level, mm -hmm. but it's, it's kind of get closer, right? But we were not in the same scrutinies as everybody else mm -hmm. in terms of being a pastor's children. But what can we do to change that, in your opinion? Well, uh, ou konnen ke ke ou te ministers kids, ke pa pote nan diak di kon kote pasteur ou te tombe nan menm nan menm e ba nan menm e loa vraiment. OK? You going to have to be hard on the pastors and that's why we lost one of our pastors friends um pastors kids like that right in your backyard. Um ba sa te te tout manté m parce que so much pressure Yeah. Right in your right. Yeah. <laughs> so so much pressure on them. So no pads you moon ki vraiment important. Ba sa te vraiment 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 fait me passer. But I'm 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 building and working on a project to help 
the pastor's kids, the minister's kids, and people in ministry. Yes. Yeah. Well. And kis sa pansi kam si kis sa umay din kis sa deka di mo niyo kis sa nung deka fe pusa deka change pusa. Yeah. Who knows? Start with educating and understanding and and helping um a lot of people understanding what is the what is God's words really. Because you know, pil na ukon na Caribbean and the island of pil bad is la solma. Grand pil ang doctrine magfet. Un peu le monde, je préfère quoi nous nomme, nos doctrines, que quoi in the word of God. Okay. And you know, we would open the back. Même moi, parce que son éducation qui peut faire, the biblical education, like éducation qui peut faire, um, based on the Bible, based on the biblical principles, who show you how God sees everybody. And also how God sees, how God wants you to, you know, interact let, let, let me challenge you on that Do you think um because i feel like a lot of pastors they they show how can i say you may tip it to you they put them to that pedestal too mm-hmm. and no i'm not saying they cannot live mm-hmm. to it but it's just if if you didn't put them in the first place, I don't think this will happen. I'm not saying it's a bad thing, but I feel like you're not helping them mm-hmm. because they don't understand. The, because at the end of the day, you are you are the one with the vocation. They well, might have it later. Well. But you are the one with the vocation. But Nikoma, le bon jere lo nom li pare le nom nom pou kote li re la tout famille. Sa se on bagay tou. Un pile de leader, on ne va pas comprendre, on ne va pas parler, on pile de Simon, il y a un grandi, ou bien acquaintance leader. Bon, il y a un nom. Yes, but when they call you, you need to grow. Yeah, to that of course. But that's, that's when you, you are very educated to know that, to understand that. Yeah. But comprendre qu'un pile fois leader, on ne pas comprendre comment pour you go from that to that. I mean, bring them, the kids to, because you remember, you're fini, you're getting, you're still up après. Et ça fait, un jeune pasteur qui était dans vingtaine ni, il pas même dans le quarantaine, il pas même dans soixantaine ni, il pas même le dans soixante-dix quatre-vingt. You can see the progress and you can see certain things that bien bagay bon Dieu fait dans mon ça as a person, okay, and as a leader and you know as a leader of uh, Joshua's generation, you might I mean un pile de leader il pas fléchi devant Baal. You, ce, ce sont des mon avec colonne vertébrale vertébrale you do what you, they mean well when they put their families and stuff but you know because we're expected if you called as a leader you expected to have a certain standard too i mean you expected to live in a certain way that could you know you can say according to the biblical principles according to mbadi tout nous moun va faire même bagaille nous uni mais nous pas uniforme chaque moun il say something about bon gens li fait li di dans la vie gens ap li ou ap vive ap a partir de la parole de Dieu gens ap vive bon gens li 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 dans la vie, li gen pa reflete dans la vie, li konsa gen pa reflete dans la vie Sir Jean, Sir Jean, I mean Frère Jean, konsa Pasteur, you know, Pasteur Paul, li gen pa reflete dans la vie, ou konsa, mais nous tout a fait même bagarre, nous tout gen même but. So moi pense que Jean dit hein, gen pa un qui they put it so high. I feel like there needs to be a balance and there needs to be education first from the leader side. Then it comes down to the people because si leader pour éduquer then the people the same. Parce que soit dit mon Dieu soit faire tout comme ça tout um et you know il gagne poids et puis je me dis earlier ne dis pas pas bon dad if gagne pas assez de bagaille ou dit nous pas faire là ou bien mon Dieu scrutinize certain things that we're doing if it wasn't so pas con you know peut-être va me dire ça me dit là but so pas con so pas s'il pas vraiment require certain things of him of them when you have been in a corner, when you have expect that, well, we're doing it. Are they doing it? You yeah, know? yeah. So, because you have the same thing. You have to go to the same thing. You have to go to the same thing. You have to go to the same thing. So, you consulted. You have to say, Papa, you have to say, 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 but in principle, Pagan can gray, it's black or white. White, yeah. There's no middle. 
<laughs> wow, wow. Well said, well said, Abigail. They have been. Thank you for being with us today. We really appreciate you being with us today on our podcast. So now, last word for you, Abigail. You want a last word for me? Yeah. <laughs> okay, D World. Thank you so much for having me. Well, it was really a pleasure to be on your podcast and to speak with your audience and you know and i pray that everything i said it was a conversation but i pray that um god can speak through some people about you do something to you and i pray that you know anyone listening to this can learn something and as i'm available for questions i'm available to be contacted and when i was doing the presentation i i mean when you said tell us something about you one of the things that I want to leave people with for them to remember is out of everything, you know, entrepreneur, but Sam Yevrema, I'm a sister. I'm your sister and I'm your friend. So I'm a sister and I'm a friend. So that's really what you got to remember of me <laughs> out of everything we said that if you have to remember something and I'm available and I want to serve and, you know, the spirit that we're operating in is servant leadership. So I am your servant leader. So thanks again, um, 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 Andy, and thanks again to Eddie. Eddie, sorry. Thanks again, Eddie, and thanks again for, to everyone listening to this. And I pray that you are well and the rest of your year could go according to what God wants for you. Thank well you. said, well said. Thank you, Abigail. We really appreciate having you today. So we have our podcast, Divine Puppet Podcast. You can subscribe to our channel on YouTube. You can watch us on Facebook, on LinkedIn, on Instagram. Please go on www.dppodcast.com for more content. Or if you want to email us or put a donation, we'll be very, very grateful and for your support. So this is Eddie Dacius with Abigail de Ravin. We had a great time. We have a bless. You learn about her up upbringing her family and she she answered two hot topics so she did great she did great and we really appreciate having her all right thank you and have a good day thank you